Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be um, just showing you guys something that I've been trying to try out in my day free uh, Hobonichi and initially this is used for my goals, um, tracking and just overall tracking of all goals, um, whether it be financial, reading, whatever. Um, but I also realized that there are quite a few pages in here. Um, so I didn't really know what to do with them or I didn't want to waste them as well. So what I said I was going to do, um, and you'll also see in like the next video that I put up is I wanted to try and see if I could, um, like test out different forms of planning if that makes any sense so i realized while i need to plan and i like to plan i don't really have a planner system so to speak so i know what it is that i want to put within a planner but i just don't know how exactly i want it to be in there so i was thinking about next year getting a and that's my birds in the background um i was thinking about next year getting a um a uh, cousin a hobonichi cousin because i felt like it would have everything in it um like the weekly the monthly and the single pages but as i was doing this i realized that i don't need this big of a single page so i'm not sure if i'll still get it because it has everything and get like an a6 i don't know but um what i decided to do and i'll just do like a uh, quick flip through so this month as far as tracking goes i wasn't good at it as you can see i just didn't keep up with it um so i did i had already like sectioned these out so from here to here is just spaces for each month to do like a monthly tracking and the reason why i wanted to have the monthly tracking in here was to go along with being able to monitor um my goals that I have for this year. So I thought it'd be a quick way to do it, but I am realizing that I also may need a smaller tracker within just my regular notebook or a smaller notebook that I kind of carry with me all the time. So that way I can jot it down and then like bring it back here and put it. Um, so that is what's going on as far as my trackers are concerned. Um, but what I wanted to do was see if I would enjoy a vertical and what all I can fit in a vertical. Um, so I used, so these pages up into here is like dedicated for each month, um, the habit tracking. Then I have projects that I wanna work on this year, as well as um, things that I wanna read, things that I wanna buy, um, and then, how I did it was I went into my January and I put my January goals and then this page will be for my highlights. Hopefully the birds aren't too loud. My mom always says they're so loud. So um, hopefully you all can uh, still hear me and sorry about the shaking. But yeah, so um, everything, like I'm trying to take it section by section, meaning so for each month, I'll have like my goals, a place for the highlights. And then um, I did read, I met my goal for reading two books for this month uh, because my goal is 24 for the year. So I did um, meet my goal for that. I used my stamping and I just need to fill it in and I just printed a picture of how the book looks out. So what I wanted to do was to do like a um, uh, fake weeks, like what a Hobonichi weeks would look like or just a vertical setup and see how much that I can fit in the vertical setup without having to use like three planners. So right now I have my Moleskine, that is my daily planner, and then I have... Um, the and i'll show it in the next video because i'll go a little bit deeper into it but i have a separate one for like meal tracking and things like that 
So I thought, since I have all of these pages anyway, that I would just see how well this works for me and see how well I like it. So I just did, I just did lines, which they are not even at all, but I'm okay with that. And I just created like a quick and easy fun layout. So the stickers that I used was the Agenda 52 um, numbers and days. And then I also use the Agenda 52 meal prep one. So <clears throat> I am happy that I have been able to start using more of my sticker books that I've had for a while. Um, and I also use the washi tape. I'm not sure why I have been hoarding <laughs> the washi tape. So I have put some in here. At first it was just plain. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make a simple spread uh, this would be the size that the cousin is, so it would give me like that overview of this is how it actually is, except, you know, the lines and everything are already there. Um, and yeah, I decided to use, because as I was looking at this sticker book, I was like, am I ever going to get a chance to like use some of these stickers? But I just have to be more conscious of what I'm doing. So like, if I do go grocery shopping, what I spent, I can just plop in on here or even if I do it within my daily planner. But I just have to be more intentional or and mindful of the sticker packs that I do have. So I try to create like a really simple, not really geared toward anything type of spread. I really wanted to utilize, I wanted to do everything as minimal as I can. Um, so that's why here you'll see like the stamps that I used for the days of the week. Um, and then here uh, for the hearts, and that's just a place for my task. I didn't want to use the box. Um, I just used a stamp for those. And then I used January and February because those the months for this upcoming week and the 2023. Um, I'm, I'm happy with how it looks now. And at first I was concerned because I'll be almost like double doing um, things with using my daily planner in here. But I do want to be able to see what I can use to condense a whole system and what I would want a whole system to look like in one book and not like five books or three books. Um, so hopefully this works. I wanted to initially put, because I typically typically just eat breakfast and dinner so at first I was gonna put like just B and D and be able to like add in my meals down here and I was gonna draw a line for that and kind of section a lot of things out um keep my to-dos up here and the rest like section out to see if I could get like my mood in here along with um um meals and everything so I don't know, like, instead of putting this right here, I could have used this side for a mood tracker and it would have allowed me a little bit more space to get pretty much everything that I need, that I need to see and do on one page. Um, and even if it doesn't work with, you know, this one spread, if I can get it all within a book, I'll be happy with that because I can just grab that one book and sit and fill out everything instead of going from planner to planner so um let me know what you guys think about this let me know if you have tried to do this um the the next thing that i know that i am going to do is um a bullet journal i'm not really a fan of bullet journals because i just kind of need everything to already be set up for me so the fact of like drawing out everything or you know like making my own lines and different things like that it just doesn't excite me um but it may good it may be good for me to just um do it for the time being considering my anxiety is a little high and a lot is going on right now so it gives me things to do with my hands but um yeah i'm kind of happy with the way this looks i think it looks really cute um and yeah, I can't wait to see how it looks. Even if, because I know I'm doing like double with this, I said I was gonna put a little sticky right here. And even if I don't necessarily have time to come in and do it, I'll just write 
what's going on that day and what happened so I can put it in and just see how the spread looks overall. So let me know what you all think. If you all have done that in um, bullet journals or just the day free or any other plain notebook, if you've utilized that for more things than one. I almost wanna buy a Stalogy because I would have more room for it, but I've been wanting a Stalogy and I'm trying to just keep to what I have and utilize everything that I have here now before I jump ship and just start buying all of these extra things. So for now, I'm glad that I was able to tame that voice in me to get a Stalogy. So let me know what you all think. I hope you all are having a great day and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.